This is one of the three milling plants in Lusaka, operated by the Zambia National Service ZNS to churn out an estimated 1,364 bags of millimill daily. Combined, the ZNS operated three plants dotted in different parts of Lusaka produce about 15,000 bags of millimill on a daily basis. With a growing demand for the commodity, the Food Reserve Agency, which is mandated to manage the National Strategic Food Reserves, is already offloading maize to ZNS as part of mitigating the price of millimill. This arrangement with uh, ZNS is uh, going to be uh, in place for a period of three months, after which in December we will review how the program will have uh, achieved its results, after which there will be a possible extension of this uh, particular program. The military wing has since refuted claims that it is using GMO maize to produce millimil. At no time has the institution ever dealt in GMO. What we supply on the local market is milled from maize that we buy both from the local farmers through our milling plants as well as that from FRI. I mean our plants are in communities and we have people that work there. And a spot check at the ZNS plant found more bags of millimill being produced. We also want to bring other millers on board so that we also, they are also part and parcel of the business community in the country. So we're not here to compete with them. Uh, but what I can just say is that we are able to make sure that each and every member of the community has a bag of millimill at an affordable price. The three plants are currently running on a 24-hour basis to ensure that there is availability of cost-reflective millimill on the market. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.